All right, we're back uh, talking about real people investing in real estate. This is Aaron Rice from RelandLuxuryGroup.com. All right, by speaking our misfortunes, we often relieve them. Let's talk about the top 50 causes of investor distress. Number one, tenant hassles collecting rent. Number two, sudden short-term lease or rent skipping. Number three, deferred or non-existent landscaping. Number four, increased maintenance expenses. Number five, end of lease property condition and repairs. Number six, lower than expected cash flow. Number seven, unreliable rent payments. Number eight, section eight wrap or MBQ housing voucher inspectors. Number nine, tenant doesn't pay their portion of the rent. Number 10, high property taxes, water bills, and insurance. Number 11, neighborhood changes for the worst. Number 12, decreased tenant satisfaction. Number 13, increased tenant turnover. Number 14, unexpected capital invested at closing. Number 15, tenants won't meticulously care for the property. Number 16, fully loaded turnkey rental for less than down than down the street. Uh, rental down the street is staged with furnishings. Number 17. Number 18, the rental down the street is an easier, faster resale. Number 19, the end buyer won't pay a premium for your home because it doesn't look like the rental down the street. Uh, number 20, hired the wrong property manager. Number 21, you overpaid for the home because of bidding wars. Number 22, advertising is not working well. With photos like that, you can see why. Number 23, establishing rental rates and lease agreements. Large institutional funds are buying up entire blocks of single-family homes in one fell swoop and renting them out. It's kind of hard to figure out what their local rents are when they're not hitting the MLS or if they're renting them on their own. Complying with local, state, federal housing laws. Remember, equal opportunity. Uh, number 25, evictions. Big problem. Number 26, clock drains, leaky faucets, and broken fixtures. That's a problem. Number number 27, your limited experience and limited education. Number 28, no fair housing training. Folks, real estate agents take fair housing training every two years. It's a requirement. When's the last time you took a fair housing training class? Number 29, marketing, accounting, and customer service managers. Number 30, haunted houses and exorcisms. That could be a real problem. Number 31, you hired the wrong tenant placement company. Number 32, you don't have any tenant contractor screening systems. Number 33, you hired the wrong listing agent. That sucks. Number 34, rental prospects missing showing appointments. That's frustrating. Number 30, Five, no rental application processing systems. We just take the first one that says they want the property. Number 36, no security deposit escrow accounts. Number 37, not collecting two months security deposit. You can do that in Maryland. You might want to consider it. Number 38, not collecting pet deposit. Number 39, not securing the property and having break-ins. Number 40, building, par building plans, permits, and filings. Number 41, you hired the wrong unlicensed contractor. Number 41, house leveling, excuse me, 42, house leveling and foundation repairs. Number 43, pest control, termites, rats, and mice. Yuck. Number 44, demolition, disposal, and site prep. Folks, it can cost you anywhere from ten to 25000 just to demo a property. Number 45, engineering consultation and reports. Number 46, hired the wrong specialized trades. Number 47, hired the wrong architect and designer. We're talking about the top 50 reasons that are causing investors huge distress in this market. Renovations aren't on budget, schedule, or quality. Number 49, scheduling ordering and paying for materials. Yeah, you paid all cash for the house, and I got to pay all cash for those renovations as well. Number 50, not able to manage risks and solving problems as they arise. That can be a big problem. And when we come back, we're going to talk about some solutions to some of these challenges that investors are, are faced with. This is Aaron Rice, Maryland Luxury Group, signing out.